Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the brand new limited time damn arena. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers with a subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button. And also, the link for my Twitch channel down in the description. Most likely, while you are watching this right now, I am live over on Twitch doing an all-day subathon. I'm not sure how long it's going to go, but we are doing our first ever subathon over on Twitch. So I will leave a link for the Twitch channel down in the description. And I, unfortunately, do not have a shout-out for you guys today because the previous Marvin Harrison video is actually not out yet. So, I will double up on not the next video, but the video after that. So, Monday's video, I will double up on shout-outs. All right, so here is Dan Marino. He's got 67 speed, so not the fastest, but 99 throw power, 96 short, 99 mid, 97 deep, 98 throw under pressure, 85 throw on the run with a 99 play action. The card 6'4", 224, 73 strength, and has 99 stamina, good awareness at 98, and is a field general archetype quarterback. And with full play fake and full sprinter, Dan does go to a 99 overall. So looking at Dan's stats, the obvious comparison is going to be Tom Brady. Both guys don't have any speed. Both are field generals, both super elite in the pocket. Um, good height, good throw power, crazy accuracy. So which one do I like better? I think Brady is better. Unless Dan has a glitchy release, we have not seen a gunslinger Marino yet. So it is possible that Dan does have just a crazy release and it just, and it just goes crazy. But if it is just like an average release, then I'd probably still go Tom over him um, because Tom's release is actually really good. So I'm definitely taking Tom has better carrying and 10 better throw on the run. So just kind of more well-rounded. And uh, one thing that is very interesting about these Ultimate Legends is that the Limiteds are in training variety packs. So the Limited Time cards are actually much cheaper than the set Ultimate Legends. So both Harrisons are way more expensive than the Limited Marino, which is so weird to me. But yeah, this Dan Marino card, I bought him for like 340 and the Marvin Harrison's going for like 600k. So I, it doesn't make much sense, but hey, I'm not complaining. So Dan Marino, 340k. Um, we're going to try him out here, but let's head over to the abilities. Dan Marino, like I said, field general. Um, we got Omaha on him in the X-Factor slot. The first slot is the only different slot. Um, does get long range, sideline, pocket, um, set feet, conductor in the first slot, recuperation. Does miss out on, you know, Gunslinger, Hot Route, Fearless, stuff like that. Um, today we are rocking with Gunslinger, Hot Route, the same abilities that I have on Jimmy G, so nothing's really going to change with my play style. But yeah, the second, third, and fourth ability slots are all the exact same. So here they are. Um, does add basically everything and does miss out on anchored extender and escape artist but yeah gets protected gunslinger hot route fearless all that good stuff so if you want to spend a whole lot of ap on your qb you can that's why i love field generals field generals are just so flexible in my opinion um you have protected fearless all that good stuff you, you, you can kind of fit your play style so that is why i do like the uh, field general qbs but only played on the dolphins um we got full play fake full sprinter and for front up we're rocking with the ultimate legend dan card and he has his legend card um, I used this card for so long, man. Longer than I probably should have. I believe I went right from Marino. I, th I think I went, yeah, I think I went from Marino right to McNair. So yeah, I had Dan for a very long time. So well, yeah, I'll just hop right into it. Um, I expect Dan to play great today. You know, being a 99 overall QB field general. Um, I do want to see how that releases. The release does play a huge part in all quarterbacks. Honestly, make or break. Um, like for example, Randall Cunningham, dudes were hating on Randall because of his release was slow or sailing passes and stuff like that. So a release, I mean, the stats can, you know, say what they want, but the release is probably the most important part on all QBs. And that is why Rodgers and Farmer valued so high. But here we go. That's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Game one, we are facing Huge Spartan. Huge Spartan had a pretty solid top three. Um, and we are actually in the same playoff run that we have been in for the last three episodes. Um, I believe this is the AFC, yes, yeah, the AFC Championship game. Okay, here we go. Uh, Marino, we are in the Jets unis. Might be a little bit weird, but um, yeah, we got Dan. And by the way, I do still have Marvin Harrison as well in the lineup. So um, I guess a little bit of an extended Marvin Harrison gameplay too. So um, you're going to see both Marino and Marvin probably both ball out today. I, I just don't got to force Marvin like, like I did in the earlier gameplay. Um, let's see if we can get him open here. Uh, we should have we should have Edwin James open. There we go. I couldn't really tell his release. I wasn't really watching it, but um, one one pass and a 15 yard completion so far right here for Marino. Um, yeah, cover two look. We should have Marvin and there's Marino's deep release and Marvin Harrison's gonna be open for a touchdown. And hopefully you guys saw his release right there. It's not it's nothing special. Like it's not like Farvesque. And I don't think he has the Garoppolo release either. Like there it is right there. Kind of like cocks it and then throws it deep. So not it's nothing too crazy. 
Um, just kind of what I've expected, you know, just kind of a, you know, he's a field general. He's got crazy good accuracy. We'll, we'll be very consistent, but if you're not running a, you know, a, a Dolphins theme team, I would say so far, I haven't been blown away to a point where like, I would say, yeah, pick this guy over Brady, but I mean, for 300 K, I mean, he's honestly not a bad option at QB. Yeah. I'm going to fully commit to it. Get it there. Go down right there. Marvin Harrison inbounds for his second TD of the gameplay. Uh, this, I promise you, this is not a Marvin Harrison gameplay. I'm trying to show off the new Dan Marino, but, um, so we should be able to bomb this. Give me some blocking. There we go. Marino has the arm strength and Marvin Harrison is stealing the show. Uh, I promise you not a Marvin Harrison gameplay. I, I, I swear it's not. I swear to you it's not. All right, here we go. We are in the Super Bowl here for game two. Uh, we are facing bold erring axe and we're not gonna be able to see his top three, but he does have, it looks to be limited time Cromarty out there. Um, this should be a good game. This should be a good game. Um, that first game, I'll probably cut it up pretty nice and short for you guys. But th this game should be some better comp. Um, but um, yeah, I actually did just post a. Uh, actually, no, he's got rookie premier CD at at cake returner. So I don't know. I don't know what this team looks like. But I did just post a Marvin Harrison gameplay. I don't think YouTube sent the notification. So if you did miss, if you do want to see some Marvin Harrison gameplay, I know you you you've seen a whole lot from this video. But um, yeah, go check out that video if you want to see the full gameplay on that card. But yeah, it's looking like YouTube actually did not send the noti for some reason. So it is what it is. But um, uh, go check that video out. And then hopefully they send the noti for this one. Let me know if they send the noti for this video because, yeah, apparently they just decided not to send it for the other one. Watch out for that underneath here. Oh, wants it. Neville Hewitt is stealing the Super Bowl gameplay. Neville Hewitt is there stealing the gameplay. Oh, my. Neville Hewitt It actually might be the MVP of this whole playoff run. Here we go. I didn't even see who his quarterback was, but here we go. We gotta, I'll probably start feeding Marvin Harrison again. Um, let's see what he comes out in. Uh, let's see what he does. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's about to pull out. Um, we should, I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna hit this dot. I'm gonna hit this dot. We have it. Oh, we had it, but I think he had one step. Oh man, Santana Moss got caught. Yeah, he may have had one step on that, but that was open. That, that did get open, but yeah, against man coverage, we should be fine. We should really be okay. We're just gonna, does he have one steps? Yeah, no, he had, oh, he had KOs. He's got short route, deep route, and mid route. Deep route, mid route, K. Oh my, this guy's actually a demon. Okay, we're gonna try to throw this out route here. Oh, he's dropping. He's got curl flats. Actually, we should have B open. Robbie Anderson's wide open. Easy dot. Let's go. Robbie with the touchdown. Reno floats it over the top of Camardi. And that's a good way to start the Super Bowl, man. 7-0. Right, I'm keeping my spies in there, man. I wants to go. Neville, no. It's such a good dot. No, no, no player animates for that. That's just a nice cover three dot. You just split right up the middle. And we have no zones dropping there. So that's an, a pretty easy dot. And it scores 7-7. Seven, seven. So after our pick um, and our touchdown, uh, yeah, it's the score 7-7. Seven, seven. We do have a chance to, you know, take a seven-point lead here. But um, hopefully we're able to, man. That was actually a pretty impressive drive from him. I'm not going to lie. All right, here we go. We're going to try our classic little, um, you know, delay fade and our nice little Texas route right here. Um, let's see if this works. What kind of pressure is my man? Oh, we should actually have, I mean, we should have Santana open. We're just faster than everyone, it feels like. I've been beating everyone over the top today. Santana Ball is going to score that. I mean, I was worried about putting up seven. That was, what, 20 seconds or something like that? That was actually just too easy. All right, throws the bomb up and... Which is probably what he wants to do. No one's open. Send a spy. Gannon, I, I said Gannon's no threat with his legs. Then he scores a rushing touchdown. We should be able to bomb this. And once again... Oh, Marino actually underthrew that. Oh, no. Marino underthrew that. Oh, wait, well, how do you underthrow that one? But, okay, that's actually a little concerning. That should have been a touchdown. Here we go. Now we're giving this guy another opportunity. Um, his only real, I mean, Waller's really his best guy. Waller's just killing me right now. Oh, my. That definitely should have been a touchdown. Probably wants to go underneath. Throws it outside. Pick it off, please. And what's up with these guys all agging me? We rolled that way. We have our spy. Throws it back, and can we pick a football off? No guarantee. There never is a guarantee. But he gets screamed right off the edge and we fumble. Marino falls on it. Oh, my. Throws it up to Waller. Is he about to ag me? Probably, I'm, I'm manned up. Probably he's going to keep feeding the run. Has it easily. And Yep, there we go. So, down by seven. Man, okay. So, we just got to stop the agging. And the, the running back should be the guy we get open. There we go. Get across. And what is his speed? Okay, we do get a first down. Okay, love to see that. But we should, have, we, should, we should be able to bomb this. We should get that there. And there we go. Marvin Harrison touchdown. Okay. Game tied 7-7. Seven, seven. All we got to do now. I mean, I said game tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Game tied 21-21 if I hit this. But yeah, all we got to do is literally just catch one of these ags, man. Here we go. We're manned up on Waller. Let's see where he goes. Probably going to go curl. Throws it up to... Oh, Randy's got double me. He's going to catch this. Oh, we picked it off. There we go. That's what I mean. 
All we gotta do is get bailed out once. That's all we gotta do is get bailed out once. Spin back. Okay, there we go. Finally, like I said, just we had, we had one of those 50-50s. He was literally in single coverage. And Crow picked that off. Th th these X Factors are so busted. <laughs> I'd be so mad if I was this dude right now. Oh, I'm low key had Edrin. Go back. So 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 get open. We do get open and we get tackled short. What do I do? Do I take my three or do I go for this? Oh, this is really, this is a tough call. I don't know. I don't know, man. I might, mm, I'm like, I'm going to go for it, man. I'm going to go for it. Nah, there's not really a point in me going for it. Now, I'm going to take my three. This is probably a soft decision, but I got to take my three. If this was any game besides the Super Bowl, I'm definitely going for it. But I'm not going to try to pass in the red zone, man. It just doesn't make sense. And I don't trust my run game enough. I don't even know if his run D is good. I haven't ran the ball once yet. So who even knows what's going on with that? But I'm going to take my three. I trust my defense. I trust Neville and the Demons to get a stop. Oh, he's got Larry wide open. And he has that open, too. There's no way, bro. Breaks a tackle right there with Andre Johnson. He's already in field goal range. Oh, no. He goes outside. Pick it off. Who, who's who's going who, who's to get jumped over this time? I fell. My user fell over. My, my user just fell over. Get back up. We get a fumble. Inbounds. No rules out of bounds. Oh, my. We got our fumble. Okay. We got a score. We have a timeout. Um... Oh, great pressure off the edge once again. I got thrown away. Oh, my. I almost didn't get that off. Here we go. Man coverage. Man coverage. And we show we have Edron wide open. There we go. Get me in range, Edron. Stop. Go. Edron James touchdown. There we go. I might. Mm, I'm going to fall. 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 I just. I mean, Loki at touchdowns not a bad idea right now. If we can score, I'm actually going to score this. If we can score, I will punch it. Yeah, I'm going to punch this. Okay. I'm, I'm going to punch that. Okay, nice. Minute left. No, but he's got ags. What am I doing? Oh, who's outside? Pick it. Okay, there we go. Game. Game. Oh, my. The fact that this guy agged the whole time and almost won the game is scary. Crow, three interceptions. That should do it. We're just going to kneel this thing out, man, as we should. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Dan Marino gameplay. And as you guys saw, he's very solid. Did have a few inconsistencies. Um, just kind of your typical, strictly a pocket passer. Can't really roll out or throw in the run. So just definitely just a pocket passer. Just going to stand there and just throw dots consistently. Um, release is pretty solid. Nothing too special. Also, nothing too card breaking. Just a very solid card. And if his price keeps falling, um, actually not a bad option. If you are like a pocket passer and love the hot round, the gunslingers, and that is your play style, Marino is definitely a good option. But I don't recommend going from, you know, Randall Cunningham right to Marino. That might be a pretty drastic switch, honestly. But this, this Marino card, honestly, a big W. Um, the price, um, the way he played, like I said, some inconsistencies. But other than that. Really just can't complain with Marino. But um, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the dolphin emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.